Hi Taurus, this is Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel and of course my Cyber Angels, welcome back and I love you loads. Taurus, you are the last on, on the list because you, I only received um, 12 likes from Taurus. Wow, uh, every single little bit helps, doesn't matter. I just love to receive reactions and thought what you thought. And of course I'm always open to suggestions to improve, to keep the channel exciting. So uh, welcome to new people as well and um, please subscribe, uh, uh, subscribe and like, click on the bell uh, on all and on all then you'll be notified but because uh, YouTube has a new system and some people are not getting notified I don't know what's the matter but so I put extra notifications out there when I go live and that's Monday Wednesday and Friday I give away free cards but I also answer questions that are supported by super chat or super stickers now if you would like to have an extensive reading then please look, go to my website and you can find the information for that at the bottom uh, in the description bo uh, box and in at the bottom of this video or in the top right hand corner okay um, now uh, the competition has been called off as you all know um, the people that follow me because you could have won uh, a Shadowland deck a brand new one or the vice versa deck Okay, um, so I'm open to any suggestions in order to still do that competition or anything that uh, deserves a reward. Okay, um, I'm doing the nine card spread like I do in my extensive uh, readings, one on one, but there will also be a new reading added on to the list of uh, sorts of readings on the website I do uh, a crystal ball reading and that entails the crystal ball and I use my clairvoyant and audient and, and uh, Claire's uh, seeing for all that um, as I can also converse with the people that have left this realm the earthly realm and gone on to the next frequency okay some people call it heaven but uh, with the crystal ball I sometimes also get messages and I don't need the crystal ball for that or perhaps it might come through the crystal ball perhaps they choose to use the crystal ball or the cards but after the crystal ball reading I also use my tarot or Lenormand and my oracle decks to get a, a, a clarification on what has been seen or what has come from the crystal ball okay so I'm using my nine card spread. This is the Quirin card, overall energy, Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday and Sunday. The corner cards to clarify the three cards around it or vice versa. And you've got the angel feather, you've got the crystal and you've got the answer of the angel. So let's begin Taurus. This is your reading for the 6th to the 12th of July. And we start off with the Knight of Wands. You will be receiving news. When this news arrives, you will have to act swiftly, otherwise it will pass you by. This could be news about passion. Look at all the flames. Somebody might be passionate about you or madly in love with you if you're not hooked up. Even if you're hooked up, there could be somebody absolutely crazy about you. This could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay, so act upon this news swiftly. The Knight of Wands also means that one, some of you might be moving home. Now we're beginning on Monday, and on Monday you have the Six of Pentacles. Now, in this deck, this card reminds me of the Six of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, because the past is your ancestors, the past is people from before. And in the Six of Cups there is somebody coming back and presenting you with a present. 
The Six of Pentacles is actually sharing and sharing alike. If you are less fortunate, then somebody might be giving you a helping hand, a listening ear or a gift. If you are more fortunate, then you might be giving to the less fortunate. You might be giving a gift or a listening ear or a helping hand. But I also feel that somebody from the past could be returning and passing you a gift or a helping hand or a listening ear. Wow, that could be happening on Monday or Tuesday. Then we go on Wednesday and Wednesday. Poof! might be a heavy day because if somebody comes back from the past you st might start reminiscing or you might be going through um, heavy uh, a heavy moment on Wednesday because the lockdown is being eased on and your workload might have piled up okay there is an ending coming to this uh, this heavy uh, load this could be uh, the last few steps to your new beginning. That could be the news, like a new house, a new job, because the ones are action. And this is also ones. And a 10 is an ending and a new beginning. Don't give up. Don't give up. You've come so far. You've only got a few steps to take before you reach your goal look at him he's looking towards this news he's looking forward to seeing this news and wow you've got one of the most beautiful cards victory you have victory perhaps you might have been in a judicial situation and you went and it could be somebody from the past okay or somebody will become the past okay um, could be a very, it could have been a very emotional heavy time as well but you've got clarity you've got justice justice will be done okay if you are in a ju judicial situation the news will come swiftly and act upon it okay there might be just one single last thing um, that you need like knowledge clarity to bring clarity and justice because the ace is a new beginning a new communication so a little bit of communication so there might have to be tweaked just a little to get your victory so then don't let this news pass you by be alert and be focused what is happening around you so that you can get that victory perhaps this is an invitation or a notice saying you've been accepted or you've got a scholarship because um, this means also action a new study the to get a gather wisdom the uh, the swords stand for justice honesty clarity wisdom study gaining knowledge learning how to communicate because it also stands for communication you might start a new job in communication work action is work okay or you uh, a hobby creativity might become a job could be a job in communicating on uh, TV radio writing a book um, flogging blogging you might become a presenter from a program who knows that's the communicating side or being a receptionist or a telephonist that is also communication you might be starting a new course to learn these talents you definitely know what you want because you have the Queen of Wands and you're going for it. Or you might be meeting the Queen of Wands and that is a Leah. Okay. Here in the middle of the overall energy is all three Aries, Leo or Sagittarius that you could meet. But you've got the Queen of Wands so that's Leo but don't exclude Sagittarius or uh, Aries, Leo or Aries, okay. Sorry, don't Sagittarius or Aries, but she's the queen. And you've taken a page out of her book if you're not meeting up with somebody that is a fire sign. And you're going for what you want, and you've got the victory. Good for you. 
then in the first corner we have the compass. The compass means that you are on the right path, the right road. Right? Brilliant. You might have had a helping hand from somebody because you wanted to start a new study and you didn't have the deposit for the study. So somebody might have given you a helping hand with the deposit and they say, go ahead. And you are getting what you want because you're on the right path. Now, I think it's more something more official. It could also be that you have passed your exams. Whoa. And you're getting official news. Okay because you've got the Ace of Swords, victory, and the Owls are wise, wisdom, okay? And they mean business, and they are officiality. They also represent visual, um, officiality, because we've got the other deck, uh, in this deck, we've also got the birds, but the Owls represents officiality. So you might get to hear the news because it is, um, at the beginning of uh, July you might get exam results so you might hear good news that you've passed your exams victory knowledge and wisdom gathered okay watch out for gossip though okay watch out for gossip somebody might have flown the group or the coop okay you might start an other advancement a stage higher because the ace of um, swords is here and perhaps you want to advance because both these signs are eager to learn and they go for what they want the air signs want uh, clarity justice uh, eager to learn to get the information to get the wisdom so they can communicate and the ones want the communication and the knowledge so they can tweak and tweet it and be creative and come into action after their creation. Wow. Okay. Brilliant. Then in the third corner we have the heart. You might meet your soulmate. You might meet a new lover. You might meet a new partner if you're not hooked up. And you might even go up to the next level with this partner. Because the heart is boom 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 going like that steady but slowly and you might be taking it up to the next level 24 means balance wow okay perhaps that is what you're hearing passion or seeing passion or meeting the fire sign that wants passion with you but if you want this permanent relationship then know the boundaries yours and theirs okay and keep the communication going otherwise it will be just a ship through the night now if you are hooked up with a, a fire sign or an air sign because fire is around it and air then make sure because these are swift people that you can keep up with these people okay so let them know your boundaries and find out what their boundaries are and don't especially with the air signs you know don't um, don't despair don't go into your head and they are quick 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 but uh, accept that once you've got their heart they are loyal and they'll be yours just let them be free let them be free they are yours once you have captured their heart and you have captured uh, they've captured your heart you will you will you will spread your wings and you will fly with them and they they do like travel okay they do like travel so go with the flow with them and enjoy they will be your angel that could represent an angel's wing right okay but keep the communication going with both of them and action but also take time out and slow them down okay you are an earth sign don't neglect them they they won't show it but they are sensitive because they are scared of being burnt out they want to be the best the same with the air signs they want to be the best for you Taurus so please be careful you are the one that can keep them steady and grounded especially with the air signs 
Okay. So don't give up on them. And don't slack. They don't like people that are slack. They like people to move and to have ideas. Gently does it. And they will understand. They will come down to your speed if need be. There is you are looking for love. Perhaps you are waiting for love. Well, like I said, you will have to take action. Don't just sit around and hold a rose and sit in your head. I told you, don't get into your head. And if you do, take it slowly and, and steadily. Come into action. Go for what you want. Okay. Let this be over. Let the past go. Okay. Let the past go. You've got your victory. Okay. And you, there is an ending and a new beginning. There could be a new love. And this is the ace of the hearts. The ace of love. So it's up to you to take action. Perhaps it is somebody less fortunate. And perhaps... I don't know. Um, I'm getting to here. They might be less fortunate. And they might be scared to say yes to you. Because they, they, they feel perhaps a little bit more... A little bit less than you they want to be just as good as you okay so talk about it talk about it or perhaps you feel less than them don't be you are you you are unique show them how wonderful you are okay love is in the air there is victory so it could even become official getting married right whoa this is beautiful now for the first oracle card you've got the rainbow angel feather you can wear any color you can eat any color as this is your victory this the angels are giving you victory the angel feather proves it because I could have chosen another deck and this is a feather so that is the angel feather feather a special blessing with immense excitement the angels announce that you are to receive a special blessing angelic joy with ra will radiate to you and through this blessing Ooh, radiate like fire okay and you've got the crystal so delight 52 and 7 is a lucky number whoa and so delight intention intentionality conscious awareness and awakened state inner knowing self confidence clear expression of intentions well somebody if this is you then make it known what your intentions are. Okay? Make sure that you communicate clearly and you make your intentions known and know the boundaries. Especially if it is you taking the action, Taurus. To, even if it is towards none of the air signs or fire signs. It could be another Taurus from... I don't care. But make your intentions known clearly within the next few weeks this might happen it won't just happen this week okay wow that is a clear message the energy is ongoing outside of this coming week okay well that is very clear to me so make your intentions known clearly and be aware of what is happening around you otherwise it will pass you by awareness and awakened state know your intuition be self-confident like the queen and the fire signs okay okay great stuff so make sure that if you that you don't want passion just passion you want an 
an ongoing relationship, a full-blown relationship, make sure that the other person knows uh, what you want. Okay. Now I'm. I've got pentacles here. I've got cups here, um, and we've got the fire here, and we've got air there. Again, pentacles here. Okay. So very strong message. Make sure that you show, make it clear to others what you want. That's basically it. And communicate clearly. I love this reading for you. Take care, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions, then please send me an email. The information is below and in the top right hand corner. And I hope to see you in the life. Take care my sweeties and be blessed. And please share and like. Ciao, ciao. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all. And I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.